Hey, Suits Crafting here. Welcome on out to the wood shop. Uh, today, uh, out in the shop, we are going to be working on this wonderful chrome uh, power pen kit that we have ordered by a customer, and we're going to be doing it in this lovely yellow acrylic that the customer actually provided. Uh, not sure exactly how this one's going to turn out. If you can see here, the uh, the edges here are a little chippy. They've already got <clears throat> they've already got a couple little corners of sections and things that are kind of already chipped off from I don't know if it's the shipping process or their cutting process or how it is that that came to be uh, but we nonetheless are going to work on this blank now I'm going to take it real slow during the cutting process take it real slow during the drilling process especially uh, in order to make sure that we don't have any blowouts any cracks don't want any overheating uh, I haven't worked with this type of an acrylic before uh, so we're going to uh, just see how this turns out. So without further ado, let's get started. So we'll do a mark there. Mark there. Grab our square. We will mark our line. And then we will mark our other line. Got nice good shavings coming out of there. As I'm doing this, I can kind of feel it skipping as it's going through. Good clean hole in the front. Good clean hole in the back. Flatten this face off. Got a nice starter hole. Nice fill hole, nice back hole there. No chip out. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Okay, so we're all set up to glue together the brass tubes for this chrome power pen kit. So we're just gonna double check and make sure our brass tubes fit through. Does on that one. Does on that one as well. So let's get to gluing. On the back side here we do, we have a very, very small gap that we'll need to fill with some thin CA. I don't know if you can see the small gap there at all. It's kind of hard to tell. Oh, you can see it on that one. There we go. See it on this one here. Uh, but there is a small gap that we'll fill with some thin CA just to make sure that it holds tight and that it will last a very long time for our customer.
And you guys will just have to let me know if this isn't just the most boring thing to watch on video, because I'm sure it probably is. And that won't take any more, so we will hit that with some activator. And that is done. Okay, so I got these all chucked up. Uh, I'm going to be real careful. We will just uh, take it slow. Looks like I need to touch up my edge here. All right, now on the sanding, 150 through 600. Okay, so we've got our chrome power click pen here uh, all laid out according to our diagram. Um, so we are going to get this pressed together. Now, things you have to watch out for in this one is that these you can't swap the upper barrel and lower barrel. You do have it tapered down here to this tip here. We're going to get this put together. So the first thing that we do according to our assembly sheet here is press the sleeve, which is this piece here recess end in first into the lower barrel to the shoulder. So on this sleeve you'll see that there is a small shoulder focus right here that you have to press that into. So we'll take our lower barrel and just really quick press that into the sleeve. Oop, we gotta put, let's see, there we go. Press that in, stop at the sleeve, rotate, make sure that we have the full piece against it. So our next step, press the center band short extension in first into uh, the opposite end of the barrel. So we've got our center band here, and this is the shorter end, this is the longer end as you can see. And we press the shorter end first into the opposite end of our lower barrel. Rotate, press in a little further. There we go. We got a good fit there on our center band. 
focus. Thank you. That looks good. Next step, insert the three-piece mechanism. That's this piece here. Narrow threaded end in first into the upper barrel. So here's our upper barrel. So we slide this in just like this here. Now you gotta be careful not to tip this forward because there are pieces inside there that will fall out if you tip it this direction. So don't tip it down. So you push that all the way in. Press the exposed end of the center band into the upper barrel to follow the mechanism. So here's our center band, that's our exposed end. And we are going to press that in just like that. and then we are going to press that the rest of the way together. Remove two spacers there. We'll probably put our small spacer back. Alright, got a good transition between our center band and our upper barrel. Insert the plunger coupler recess end in first into the opposite end of the upper barrel. Press in, then insert the clip over the thread, mount and screw in the plunger guide, align the clip rim into the slot in the plunger guide, tighten. So that's this assembly here. So what it's saying is that we are going to take this assembly apart we are going to place this here take that out actually nope that still won't fit okay so we will press this together I don't like how far out this is but we will just take it nice and slow and that goes in just fine So we put our clip on over top of the threads, just like that, and then we will screw this on, and this has a slot in it that we have to align our clip into. See the slot there? So you have to align that and then you can thread it in. Screw the plunger guide over the coupler, put this spring down inside and this goes in and that screws on to the mechanism that we put in earlier but you have to hold it upside down in order to get the threads to catch there we go okay so now I've got the threads caught so now that's in place and now we can take our ink, set our pen down, take our ink, and we've got our spring here, and put it on there like so. We'll take that, put it into our pen, take our cap, screw it in, and our pen is complete. And function check. Functions. I do like these power click pens. They do have a really nice clicking sound. I'll let you listen to that there. They're very reliable. The customer, when I was talking with him, he asked, uh, well, what did, what did I think about having this pen in gold? And, uh, you know, gold with yellow would look nice indeed. Um, but I thought that with the chrome, he also asked, you know, what would it look like in chrome? And I thought that with the chrome, it might be just a little bit better. It'll really accent the gold. And chrome looks good with just about any um, color. And so it definitely does look nice. It, you know, yellow and gold, it, it's almost a cliche. And uh, this chrome and yellow definitely does look nice. I'll do a quick pass through there. Take a look at that.
thanks so much for joining me out in the shop. Be sure to check out some of my other videos and hit that subscribe button right there in the center of your screen so you can be notified whenever we've got new videos coming out. I appreciate you. Thanks so much for joining me out here in the shop. This is Suits Crafting signing out.